Y'all, your next comedian came all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. I've seen him multiple times, both in Atlanta and Savannah, and he is very funny. Please put your hands together for Mr. Nick Murphy! Bless his heart. Now, thank you for having me, Savannah. It's nice to be here in another city that doesn't give a shit about COVID, so thank you guys. It's a pretty lateral move for us, coming from Atlanta, geographically and medicinally. No one cares here, so thank you. I appreciate that. Not a lot of masks. I think those are starting to go away, right? They're going away. They're like Falcons jerseys, you know? People are stopping to wear those things. They're not as cool anymore. Yeah. You guys vaxxed? Next up, that's about half, I think. That's about half. Make some noise if you got Pfizer. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That was a little, that was a little extreme. But I, got, uh, I got the Johnson & Johnson one, so I am unvaccinated. I think, I think that's what that means. I think that's what that means. I think we got the placebo. Just a company-wide. <laughs> I don't know why they let J and J make a vaccine. You know, that didn't seem like a good idea from the beginning. That's not really their thing, is it? They make like Tylenol and band aids and stuff. You need like a scientist to make a vaccine. You know, we didn't let other businesses do that. If vaccines aren't their thing. You know, did you get vaxxed? Yeah. Where'd you go? I went. I got to the Papa John's. I got the Papa John's vaccine. I went right down the street. You don't even have to go. They send a the delivery guy to your house. It's twenty minutes. Twenty minute guarantee. You have any side effects from that? Physically, I feel great. Physically, I feel 100%. There was a 48-hour window where I could not stop saying the N-word. But other than that, I feel good. Other than that, I feel good. Lost a lot of friends. <laughs> all right, all right, we're waking up. That's good. We know what Papa did. He fucked up, right? We know what Papa did. White people, knock it off with the N-word, okay? It's not ours. Stop saying it, all right? I'm mostly just talking to the dudes in the back that are listening. <laughs> they are. Look like you just got off work from your dad's law firm. That's what I'm talking to. Alright? Knock it off with the N-word, guys. Why, why am I the last white person that understands this? I don't know. I feel like it's because I grew up in Atlanta. And I grew up playing a lot of basketball. Okay? So I was around that all the time. I was very frequently the only member of my team not using that word. And it was never a problem, you know? I never felt like I needed to say it. It was never a situation that called for it, okay? I probably could have. I was pretty close to a lot of those guys, all right? Because all my teammates were white, too. Nobody would have found out. We probably would not have found out. We probably, probably would have been good. We lost a lot of games. We deserved it, okay? A lot of blowouts. A lot of blowouts. That's a fun joke. That's fun to do in a room like this, because I don't know who's more at fault. Is it my white teammates for using the N-word, or are you guys for assuming they were black because it's basketball? I don't know. I don't know who's in trouble there. It's probably all of us. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't fuck around with the COVID, dude. I lost my dad last year, so I don't fuck around with this stuff, you know? Uh, to QAnon. He's alive, but he's gone. He's definitely gone. We've lost his mind. You guys know about those bastards, the QAnon guys? It's wild, dude. They think there's like microchips in the vaccine, and they think the Clintons are killing everybody, killing children, sex trafficking, right? He thinks Joe Biden's a lizard person. These are all real things my dad has said to me, for sure. He's not getting the vaccine. I know that's not gonna happen. He's just gonna have to catch it, to learn, at this point. It's just annoying, you know what I mean? And I know there's, uh, there's a new strain now, I know there's different strains. I don't care what strain of the thing that he gets, I just hope that it's polio. He needs to learn a lesson, is what I'm saying. He needs to learn how to trust medicine, okay? Yeah. Don't want to chew pine needles. That's what he wants to do for the vaccine. That's the QAnon theory. Is anyone, that, is anyone in QAnon, by the way, before I continue? Alright. That is exactly how a QAnon crowd would respond, so I appreciate that. Silence, because they're sleeper cells, dude. Their new theory is you gotta start chewing pine needles. That keeps the COVID out of your body, right? Now they're like draining their blood and stuff and they're dying. But before that, they were saying you gotta chew pine needles. My dad was hounding me about it, right? So I did that, and now, guys, this is exciting. I cannot take sore spell. So that's pretty cool. The top two symptoms of COVID I now have. It's great. Uh, I 
I asked him if he's a flat earther. I asked my dad that. Because there's a crossover between the Q's and the flats. I don't know if you guys knew that. I asked him if he's a flat earther. Uh, and he said no. I was relieved. He said he's not a flat earther because flat earthers cannot explain to him what an eclipse is. We just had one of those like a week ago, right? Yeah, they can't explain what an eclipse is. And I was relieved and just trying to contribute to the conversation. All right? Just trying to connect with my insane father for five seconds. I said, yeah, what do they think? The moon is flat too? And then my dad said, the moon is not flat. The moon is hollow. The Illuminati is running sweatshops out of the inside. And I said, can you just be a flat earther, please? Can we go back to that for a second? What the fuck was that, dude? Just be a flat earther, dude. They're way less dangerous, okay? The Q's tried to overthrow the government. We all remember that, right? Y'all's dads do. They were probably there. You remember that? The Q's tried to overthrow the government, didn't they? Flats, the flats wouldn't do that, okay? They wouldn't have gotten into the Capitol. They struggled with stairs, don't they? They never would have made it inside. Turn right back around. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will say thank you to the people who wore masks today. Uh, if, you, if you did. If you don't wear one when you leave here, I don't give a fuck. I, will, I want to be clear about that. Free country, live your life. Do what you want to do, okay? I would caution you against doing that because of what happened to me at the beginning of the pandemic. Alright? I was hanging out with some guy friends of mine. Uh, just doing guy shit, okay? We're getting brunch, getting mimosas, just doing some guy shit, alright? None of us were wearing masks, guys, alright? And we thought it was cool, but I got tested shortly after, and I am now gay. So I don't want that to happen anywhere here, if you're not prepared for that, okay? If we're not prepared. Oh, that's a fun one. People still don't care for the gays. I the first guy was talking about that a little bit. Anybody hate gay people in this room? Okay. <laughs> I, I always ask, dude. One day, there will be a guy like, I want to fucking take this shit. Full of people. <laughs> yeah, man. It feels like there's there's a lot of the country, uh, you know, that that would because what was the last gay dude that pissed off the world? Old Nas X, right? If you don't know who that is, that's like the gayest dude on earth right now. Okay, he's very gay. All right, he's so gay he has photos of himself being gay with himself. That's how gay he is. I listen to a lot of his shit. What did he do on the, uh, the war show? He's making out with a dude, right? And half the country like, lost their shit. It feels like we're in a country that would rather see a woman blow a dude on national television than see two men kissing. You know what I mean? Even though it's a more obscene act, it feels like they would rather see a woman blowing a dude. And you know how they're talking to their children, walking up, watching those award shows, right? Their nine-year-old daughter, they're watching the Oscars. Here comes Leo DiCaprio to get the award, unzips his fly, right? Some lady from the back comes out, starts sucking him off on ABC or whatever. They're watching with their daughter. She's like, Dad, what's that? He ain't fucking gay, I'll tell you that shit. Go get your mother, I want her to watch this. I want her to study this technique. This is excellent. One of my buddies, uh, one of my buddies is a big Jesus guy. He told me being gay is not natural. That's what he told me. Which is like, you know, I don't agree with that, but also, like, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Why does that matter if it's natural? It's also not natural to put a sweater on a dog, but people do that all the time. Okay? There's a lot of white people here. It's at least three of you. The statistics tell me that. Okay? And I'm just letting you know, you know what that does to your dog? It makes it look pretty fucking gay. I'm just letting you know. Your dog doesn't know, but I know, okay? But of course, of course it's that. Can we agree on that, Savannah? Being gay is natural? Of course, right? I'm gonna hold you to Savannah, this is not, this is less than people that said they were vaccinated. <laughs> I only have three of you that agree. I know the back does I know they don't give a shit, okay? But you guys, can we agree that gay is natural? There's one thing. Thank you. Uh, let me be clear what I'm saying. Being gay is wrong, okay? It is the wrong way to live your life. But it is also natural. But that's that's more about your morals than your genetics, so... You guys can sleep at night so funny. That's a fun one, too. You guys see all the people getting chucked off planes because they won't put a mask on? Hang on a second. Let me get these guys. Hey, wait. Fellas, in the back. My law student's back there. Guys, I see you laughing. Just fucking keep it this direction. What are, you, what are you talking about, dude? There's a fucking show going on, dude. What did, what man who's with both of these idiots back there, what did he, what did he just say to you? Well, 
while he's pretending to appreciate what you're saying because he wants to bang you later. What did, what did he say? Okay, now I have your attention. Shut the fuck up. Still know Follow-up question, do you guys hate gay people? <laughs> so, we're talking about that now. You guys see all the people getting chucked off planes because they won't put a mask on, dude? That's, that's two of them back there. Dude. Fuck, get the fuck out of here, bro. Duct taping people in the seats, you see those guys? Those are the best, dude. Those videos rule. I watch them for hours every single day. Get duct taped to a seat. Finally, Delta passengers are getting to experience what it's like to fly Spirit Airlines. You know what I mean? That's us every flight, guys, okay? Spirit will duct tape you if they're low on seatbelts. They don't give a shit. They don't have enough material to keep you in place. Okay? I'm fucking around. I would never fly Spirit. Here's what I learned. Here's what I learned from these videos, and this is important, this is, this is for the ladies. Alright ladies, this is for you guys, okay? I want you to make some noise if you believe, in your heart, that men are trash. Okay. I'm gonna try, okay, there was maybe one here, one there, and then a bunch of chicks playing pool back there for some reason. <laughs> just by themselves, just fucking single and playing pool. Yeah, fucking dudes are trash, man. That was sad. <laughs> oh, stripes are solid, ladies. What do you got back there? All right. Here's what I learned, all right, ladies? There are a lot of trash dudes out there. I agree with you, all right? A lot of us are pieces of shit, okay? But here's what I learned from these plane videos. You still need men in emergency situations, all right? You still need us. It's not time to throw us out just yet, okay? Did anyone see the video of the dude that tried to open the door on the plane? You guys saw that, right? They're coming to Atlanta from LA, this dude, middle of the flight, gets up, and he tries to open the door on the plane during the flight. I don't know if you guys know this, you're not supposed to do that, okay? You will kill everyone on the plane, all right? But this was a big guy. Nobody could stop him. The flight crew couldn't stop him. They had to get him on the intercom, life or death situation. And they said, this is all on tape. <laughs> they, they, they said, if there are any strong men that can please come forward and help us stop this passenger. That is exactly what he said. Any strong men that can help us with this passenger. He did not say, is there a strong, independent woman that can please come forward and help us stop this passenger? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an emergency. Is there an intersectional feminist that can please come forward and help us soak up some of this toxic masculinity, please? Can we get this guy canceled on Twitter before he brings us all down, okay? That's not what happened. They said strong men. He threw strong in there too, which I thought was funny, right? Because it was probably a dude in like a Hawaiian shirt and flip flops that tried to stand up. And like, no, 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 sir, please sit back down, not right now. I saw how long it took you to get your bag in the overhead. You could not take this guy, okay? This guy's a monster. So that's all I'm saying, ladies. All right, sometimes you still need us. All right, sometimes you need a man. Stop, man. <laughs> Probably only a man would be insane enough to open the door. I don't know what my point is anymore. I don't know. I don't know why I'm on the show. I don't know what I'm doing. Here. But thank you guys for listening. I appreciate it. All right. That bullshit. Yeah. Kind of lost momentum on that. Wanted to get that off of when I was talking about the gay stuff. You know, I, I was reflecting on the first gay person I ever hung out with, you know? I was reflecting on that as a child. It was my uncle. Uh, great guy. I had never hung out with a gay person before, though. I knew what gay was, but I had never been around one for like 24 hours before, so I didn't know the lifestyle, you know? I didn't know what it was all about. And uh, I was at a family reunion, and I remember we all went back to my uncle's hotel room to watch a movie and eat pizza, okay? And my uncle ordered the pizza, and he ordered it with uh, pineapple on top. So I assumed that gay people just do that shit. I thought every pizza they eat, they always get, they watch Moulin Rouge, that was the movie, <laughs> okay? And then they get pineapple on top of the pizza. And that really like stuck with me as a kid, right? Two weeks later, I go back to school, and we had a pizza party in my class. There was a gay kid in that class. All we had was pepperoni pizza, all right? And this gay kid loved that shit. He had like five slices to the point where he yelled out, I love pepperoni pizza, that's all I'm gonna eat the rest of my life. And I just remember thinking to him like, dude, you got a whole other thing coming, okay? You got a whole other thing coming, dude. All right, yeah, if I had done that after the gay stuff, I would have done that.
Yes, this is How are we doing on time? Two minutes? <laughs> I, thought, I don't know what that meant. Well, it's, it might be three, but we'll, we'll, we'll get through this. We'll get through this. Uh, all right, yeah, we'll, we'll have fun with this one. I quit my job. That's, what, that's, been, that's an exciting thing. Yeah. That's exciting for me, alright? Uh, now, are you guys cheering because you're also an employee? Or are you excited that I... This is all I have. <laughs> this is how, hopefully this is going okay. But, uh, yeah, I used to work in pharmacy. If you guys have ever been there before. Uh, if you've ever yelled at your pharmacist, go fuck yourself, dude. Alright? We're working on it. It's not a little Caesar's pizza, okay? There's an opioid crisis. I gotta check this shit, alright? I can't give you 900 Percocets because you have to fly to Egypt in five minutes. Why are all you guys going to Egypt? That's what you all say. There's a convention, a Percocet convention going on in Egypt. Wait, this doesn't even look real. Do you want this with the fucking crayon, dude? Get the fuck out of my store, dude. Alright? I was getting yelled at too much. That's what I didn't like. I was getting yelled at by old people, fat people, the people that come to the pharmacy, okay? I got yelled at on the phone by this lady right out of the gate, okay? Fellas, are you listening to this? I still fucking hear these guys, dude. Is it the fucking Freddie Mercury mustache guy right there? Tell him to fucking either shave that shit off or shut the fuck up. He's gotta do one of the two. Jesus Christ. Get that fucking rat off your face, bro. Pharmacy. Okay. There's medicine for that. But, uh, I pick up the phone, and uh, this lady's yelling right out of the gate, already red flag, right? She's yelling at me, she says, uh, one of your employees got my price wrong yesterday, I demand to know who's responsible, okay? So already, I'm like, all right, you know? And I'm just like, ma'am, do you remember who rung you up, okay? She just goes, she's Asian. She yelled that right in the phone, okay? You ever hear somebody say something that's not technically racist, but the way they said it is racist, do you know what I mean? Like there was probably a follow-up coming, you know? If you're gonna say it like that, you know? Even if you said something nice about the person right before, I met the nicest guy today, you wouldn't believe it. Oh yeah, what was he like? He's Jewish. <laughs> well, why, why did you say it like that? Now it doesn't sound like it, you know? So she yells, she's Asian, all right? Here's the thing, I had multiple Asian coworkers, great ladies, they were fantastic at their job, all right? And two of them were there that day. So, that doesn't really narrow it down for me, you know? But I try to calm her down on the phone, and I said, ma'am, there's no need to yell, there's no need to talk like that. Is there anything else you can tell me that can help me identify this person? She goes, the pretty one. I know. Now you're putting the pressure on me. Okay? I'm looking right at her while I'm on the phone. Like some kind of fucked up Sophie's Choice I have to make now, you know what I mean? I don't know how you guys would handle it. I panicked. Okay. I panicked. She yelled it again. She goes, the pretty one. I was like, ma'am, one's a four and a half and one's a three. You're going to have to be more specific. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And that is why I'm unemployed now. So, I want to thank you guys for having us out tonight. Your uh, other co-headliner is fantastic. Uh, so please pay me the same respect that you have for me. I'll deal with the retards in the back. I do want to, because you know, we're on the road, we got gas money, all that shit. I do have a couple of uh, t-shirts to please about. I got a couple of uh, a couple of t-shirts. If you want to buy one, uh, fucking come buy one. They're 20 bucks each, standard road price for t-shirts. Some of them are fun. I'm just gonna show them real quick. Alright, so first one is just my logo. This is the fucking M, it's my last name. Kind of a cool shirt, black shirt, got my name on the back. That's your shit. Second one, uh, kind of it has to do with last year, just because nobody knew what the hell was going on. So if you want to rock this one, it just says, I don't know, man. Okay? I don't know. I have no answers. Okay? So then you don't have to talk to the person. All right? That's number two. Now, the last shirt, and this one, this one is becoming red hot. I, I did this as a joke, but now, like, everybody wants one of these. So I had to make a bunch of them. And you don't even have, it doesn't even have to apply to you. It's just a fun shirt to have. Okay? This shirt says, ask me about my dad, parentheses, he's in QAnon. Okay? 